Hi and welcome to Music App Develop in Java Net Bean. Let me show you guys how this works. In the first place, we're going to have to select either this music note or steel drum. So let's go for the music note. See that? And supposing we want to use the steel drum. And right up here we also have music apps. So if I click on maybe this very one, apps works so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Java Net in development environment we put one of these together with a rounded button but the main focus is how to create a music app this very ones here so let's go into Java Net Bean now Welcome to Java Net Bean. Let's start by going to File and we select New Project. This project is all about music app. So for those of you who are good in music, this is a very good way to put your music together. So I'm going to click on Next. Let's give that a name. I'm going to call it iMusic. iMusic app. And as you can see. The main class is unchecked. Click on finish. Now we are inside the project area. I'm now going to select iMusic app right up there. There we go. Right click on it and let's go to new. Let's select J file. And J frame. And right in there, I'm going to call it iMusic apps. And here as well, iMusic app. Let's click on. Let's click on finish. Let's get rid of that. Just call it iMusic. Click on finish. There we go. I will now right click on it and let's select set layout. And the layout will be known layer. And I'm going to now click on the property. Select the property. And right here, make sure generate center is checked. And let's change the size to 1360 by 800. And there, I'm going to use the same, the same width and length for the preferred size here. The preferred size will be the same. And let's click on OK. That's fine. The next thing we want to do is to add, let's add a panel right there. Drag it that much and let's change the border style of this very panel to, let's go for 12, 12, let's pick the border, uh, the border, let it be white there and change this to 12 and the back color of this little border will make it black back color let's go for black right there okay i think i should increase the border here let's go back to the border and just change that to maybe let's make that 24 yeah that's more like it now we need the following buttons i need this well first of all let's change this to absolutely yeah 
no not absolutely yeah. let's come back in here let's change it to non layout that's fine the non layouts will be i'll be able to to actually lay each buttons on each other that's why the non layer is much better so just like that so i'm going to copy both now and paste okay just like that you see that guys all right so i'm going to now speed it up that's why it's advisable you use that better one okay so i will also need checkbox where is it checkbox one here and another one here and I then need let's go for a group button group yeah I'll use the button group for the checkbox once you click on your form the button group should be there so if I select this checkbox I can always assign it to a button group so that's it and this one as well the same button group yeah so I have grouped them you can see that all right good those ones are grouped so let's speed this one up then we can just show you the end result copy let's copy just this no, i'm not gonna need that i need one to yeah copy those and paste let's move it here all right this one here should be there okay so what I'm going to do now is I'll just speed up the design of the whole interface and I will get back to you guys so paste this here we need three of those anyway one two and three right there so let's speed up the design of the whole interface alright guys this is how the design of my interface looks now that I've speed it up so have a good look at it alright so the first thing I would like to do is uh, click on this and enter the following lines of code but before then let me show you guys the music notes that I intend to use for these ones before I start okay very good example is Mary had a little lamb that's right that's it right there and the next one right underneath is uh, London Bridge we have London Bridge we will not be covering old McDonald because that seems to be a little bit long let me show it to you guys so if you want to do the same thing that's it right here Okay, before we start the, the coding, let me show you guys the music notes we're using. There they are. Okay, those are the music notes and these ones are for the steel drums. Alright, so I'm going to close that. So the first thing I will do is, let me double click on the, or right click and go to event, add event and action action perform right here but before I can do anything I think I'm gonna to have to import as follows let's come up here let me import the following libraries there those are all the libraries that I need you see these very ones here I'm gonna be using those ones to convert the buttons to rounded buttons so let's go back here right click and try it again action action perform and right in here let's go for input input string okay in this case I'm gonna call it audio audio so that is the name of my input string and this is meant to be uppercase right let's try that again yeah right so the next thing i like to do now is i'm going to use an if statement to validate which of this checkbox is selected so let's come down here and say 
Vamos. JCHK Music dot is selected. Right. And this is what I want the system to do. Let's enter curly braces there. So right in here inside the if statement, I'm gonna use try. Let's say try cache. Now let's say audio, which is the variable that I declared up there, equals new file inputs input string. that is meant to be new file okay in this case the name of the input file should be so let's get the file name out so let's check out the music note here so that's for C let's right click on C properties and right here that is my that is the address of the C note itself okay so I'm just gonna come in here and enter the directory right in there but in this case since it's a C I'm gonna have to enter so we enter double back backslash and that will be C dot wave so that's the first music notes and you make sure you end it with a semicolon so that's the very first one and the next thing is for the music to play we need the audio the audio string function so i'm going to call that i music equals new audio and this is supposed to be that's supposed to be an object on its own audio stream um, the audio stream is going to be i audio which is the variable that I have right up there so let's come in here and just enter a semicolon now the next thing is let's add audio play audio play is called dot player dot start and what is it starting that that will be the music itself i music this very one copy it paste it right there and that is it for the very first one and right underneath here we need to then enter cache there so that's that's it for the very first one if i compile and run this is what you guys will hear once we make sure we click on the music itself the music checkbox make sure the music checkbox is selected click on c you hear that guys but the others nothing is happening because there's no lines of codes in them yet and this one too nothing is happening until until i actually select another music so in that case all i just need to do is to copy all of this and that would be for the steel drum and paste it right underneath here for the steel drum there now we need to change this to the steel drum and that is the note for the steel drum taken care of so if we run it now compile and run and click on the steel drum let's 
check out the note itself. Okay, the steel drum is a little bit slow. Okay, hopefully the steel drum should be back in order now. So let's try it out now. Run it and select the note, music note. There we go. Now let's select the steel drum. You see that? But there's one thing I noticed the steel drum and these are not working as expected. So let's come into the design. Come back into the palette here and grab the button group. Drop it there. Go to the properties and change the properties of this. Let it be assigned to the button group one. Yeah, I think one. And the other one should be assigned to button group one as well. Right. Okay, they are now one. So we're nice. Run the program. When you select one of the check box, the other one should be deselected. Look at that. This one is selected now. If I select that of the steel drum, you see that is deselected and so on. Okay, so let's go for music note D. So all we just need to do in that case is come right in here, go to action, action, perform, select all of these lines of codes. Copy it all and come right into the design itself right click on the D note action action perform and paste the, cell, the copied notes right in there and all you just need to do is then change the notes to D and this one is D as well and that's all the restore it Okay, all we just need to do now is to change the notes. That's a D. And there we go. Let's get rid of that. that should be one. Yeah, that's fine now. So if I run it, and I see, select one of those. Okay, there we go. And that's C, and the other one is a D. So I'm just going to now speed up the whole process and I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, all of these layer, the codes are all taken care of. Let me show this one to you. Action, action, perform. And that's the F key. I think it's F1 key. Okay. You can see it's the same. When any of this is clicked, it's checked actually so this is the note it will play and if i check that of the steel drum it will play this very note look at it okay it is the same lines of codes there's no big deal to it right there okay so now let's take care of the ones we have up here so right click and let's go to action action perform and right in there or paste that in there and that's for the drum this is for the music note itself and the next one here so that's for the D I don't know if it's called D sharp so let's come in there paste that in there and just chain that around as well that will be D I'll come right here chain this one to D as well so that's all there is to it. I'm just going to speed it up now. And that is it for all of the keys. Okay, from here down here, all I'm just changing is the note itself. That's all I've, I've changed. So if I compile and run, let's see. Okay, I have to select one of these. That's fine. I want and this works as well so that's
that is all right but these three buttons here they are not doing anything the whole idea of this is to combine all of these notes to make up these and to also make up the Mary had a little lamb and London Bridge is falling down so that's the whole idea so let's see okay let's see the full Ellie's alright with the full Ellie's so I'm gonna come in here right click and select action action perform there but one thing is let me show you guys the music notes for the full Ellie's okay guys that's the notes for the full Ellie's okay so I'm gonna start with E1 DS1 E1 ex one so let's drop that down so I suppose you guys have seen it anyway look at it take a good look at it that's all we need to make up so minimize that the first thing I like to do is to declare my music here input stream so I'm gonna copy that let's go back in here right click action action perform and paste that in here then the next thing is I'm gonna use try cache okay let me do this first let's say thread dot no we want it in no case thread that would be dot come right here so what will happen is the system will now ask me to use try cache and I'll press enter okay so if I come in here so let's just surround state maybe try cache there we go alright so it's surrounded with try cache for me there so all I just need to do now is I'm now going to copy I'm now going to copy E1 so let's go for E1 there we go so double click or right click and go to the codes in there there it is so I'm just going to copy here from here down here yeah control C and now let's go in there let's go into our yeah, right click and action action perform and right here just below this I'm gonna paste that there so that is the first note yes. that's the first note so I'm gonna copy the same note copy it and the next one according to the music is D S one so paste that right underneath here paste and change this to D okay that's D underscore S1 now what I'm going to do is because the note is actually E1 DS1 E1 EX1 I'm just going to copy that so copy these ones from here because that's the second line and paste it right underneath here okay I guess you guys get the whole idea so if I run this one now let me run it before we speed it all up let's see So let's click on that. That's it. You see, because I only have four notes in there. You get that, guys. So I'm going to speed it up for this. This very button and this very one. So let's do that now. All right, Mary had a little lamb that's taken care of as well. So if I show you guys, there we go. That is it right there. So if you have your own notes, it's just exactly the same thing. It doesn't have to be the notes that are put together. You can put yours together. 
okay that's it all done so all that is left for me to do now is to convert all of those buttons to a rounded button so let's run it you see what i'm talking about first so that is fine <laughs> That's Mary had a little long. Okay, now let's import. We need to import an object into this library here, and that object is meant to be J tattoo. So right click on the library and let's select add J file, and that is it somewhere here, right there. J tattoo. I'm gonna click on open that's it i've imported the object that i'm going to be using for the round buttons so and i've also imported the following libraries here look at it you require those for your round buttons okay and right underneath here before let me show it to you right here okay in the public static void main we need to import U, UI manager okay we need to include the line UI manager that's it right there of course you end up with an error because we need the four, uh, four throws here okay so click on that include the very first throw which is a class not find exception there that's one three three more to go the next one is instantiation exception there and for your information all of these exception are actually inside the code as well I think somewhere in here let me show it to you if you draw this down you will see all of them there look at this they are all right here if you like you can just copy and paste them okay I have them all in here all right so let's collapse it and go back to where we are right so i did copy one so you just put a comma and paste that in there okay you can do it like that the choice is yours okay the last one and that is unsupported look and fill exception there that's it all of the errors man okay so those are the four throws one two three four all right so let's compile and run let's see decision time there we go guys we now have our run buttons okay and all we need to do is just to try out our music <laughs> It's fine so let's try this out now the apps my three apps there there so that's how you create your own app using jabinet bean so with that i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and bye for now